Hello my friends, today we are gonna design this beautiful e-commerce web application using React. This is our homepage. We are gonna create this awesome slider without using any library, categories, products, and other components. For this project, we are gonna be using functional reusable React components, React hooks, and styled components. After this video, you are gonna see how easy to create responsive React pages and you are gonna improve your UI skills. And the next week, we will create an awesome REST API using Node.js and MongoDB. And finally, we are gonna combine that API and this design and we will complete our Manstack shopping application. I hope you will like it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and for future projects you can support the channel by using the join button or the link in the description below. Ok, if you are ready, let's get started. Ok, firstly we are gonna create our react application, but to do that we are gonna be using our youtube channel github repository, so if you go to that page. You can find here the branch that we are going to be using which is react mini and after that we are going to clone this branch that because for new visitors i'm going to explain again normally to create react application we are writing mpx create react app but if you do that it's going to create your react application but all these unnecessary files as you can see there are many things here that we are not going to be using and inside our JS files as you can see there are some default stuff here so that's why we are using our github repository so how we are going to do this let's come here you can fork and work on this github repository but also you can come here and copy this and inside your terminal you can write git clone and it's going to be single branch and I'm gonna write here my branch name, which is React Mini. And after that, I'm gonna paste my URL. And finally, I will write here dot. That because it's gonna install whole files inside my folder. It's not gonna create another folder. Okay, I will enter. And it's here. But as you realize, we don't have our dependencies. To install them, you can write here npm install or if you are using yarn just yarn i will enter during this installation let's close here and let's check our font family we are going to be using this font family if you go to the fonts.google.com you can find this font style and you can choose any style here by clicking select this style as you can see i've already chosen all of these styles and after that I'm gonna copy this link, I'm gonna paste it into my application and finally we are gonna be using this font family. So let's do that, let's open up our public folder and inside index.html and I'm gonna paste my link here. Okay, after that let's copy our font family and paste inside our style CSS which is here. And that's all. Let's open up our app.js and it writes just hello world. Let's run our application and display on our browser. I will say yarn start or npm start. And it's here. Awesome. So I can close here and our application is ready to work on it. Okay, I can shrink this terminal a little bit. And I can make this font size bigger. Okay, you can see better writing. So let's create our first page. I will come here and create new folder. And I will say pages. And inside these pages, what we are gonna have? Firstly, we are gonna have home page, JSX. We are gonna have login page, register page, product page. But we are gonna create them later. So let's create our home function here. There's an awesome shortcut for this, if you go to the extensions, and here, 
if you install this extension, you can use function shortcuts. Okay, let's close here. And I'm going to use this shortcut. So I will write RFC. And as you can see, it created a function which is home and it just exports this function. But some of you, like me, tend to use our own functions because it's more modern, I think. So you can write here RAF and CE. As you can see, it just created an arrow function and exports it here. Awesome. So you can use either way. Really doesn't matter. And after that, let's write here home page. And I'm going to call this first component inside my application. So I will go to the app.js and here, instead of hello world, let's delete here and let's call our first page. I will say home. As you can see, it's here, source, pages, and home. I will import it. Okay, it's here. And I'm going to close this tag. Awesome. Let's see. And it has changed. Perfect. So what we are going to add inside our home page? Firstly, I'm going to add here a now bar. And after that, we are going to have slider and our categories and products. So let's create our first component which is navbar. Let's open here and inside source I'm going to create another folder which is components. And inside let's create navbar.jsx and let's create our first function rafce. Okay. Let's close here and I'm going to say navbar and if I go to the home page and here, let's delete and call our navbar. And let's see. Okay, perfect. It works. So I can close my index.html and app.js. And let's open here and take care of our top bar. Firstly, we are not going to be using CSS. We are going to be using style components. That's because there are many advantages of using style components if you didn't watch my style components video and if you have no idea what this style component is you can definitely check that video out but it's really easy if you keep watching you're gonna understand better there is nothing complex trust me so firstly instead of div we can create our own style components so how we are gonna do this let's create here our first component so i will say const container instead of div we are going to create our container. To use style components, we should import our library first. So I will expand here and I'm going to open new terminal and I'm going to add style components library. To do that, you can write here npm install and style components or yarn add style components. So I will shrink this again. And I'm going to write here styled. I'm going to import this from my new library. As you can see, styled from styled components. And after that, I will say dot and my HTML element, which is div. Because we are using div here. And after that, I'm going to use backticks. And inside, I'm going to write my style. It's that easy. For example, let's say height 60 pixels. And background color let's say black here and instead of div i'm gonna write here container and let's see what we have here and it's here so it's the exactly the same thing when you write here div and class name and let's say container and when you open up your style file for example style.css you're writing here container height 60 pixels and background color black you can choose either way but i highly recommend you to use style components that because for example you used here container and let's come here home page and for example inside this div again you used class name and container if you create here your style and write here for example 
background color red, your application is going to conflict that because you have container here and you have child and your child div is container also. So which background color it's going to use, black or red? Unfortunately, it's going to use red. To prevent this kind of problems, we are going to be using style components. Otherwise, you should come here and firstly write here navbar and after that container. For a small application, it's not important, it's totally okay, but when it comes to a really complex application, it can be really annoying, that because you have to write long and long class names again and again. So the best way is using style components. Okay, let's create our other style components. Firstly, let's open up our browser and decide what we are gonna have. Firstly, I'm gonna create here a wrapper, that because I'm gonna give padding. And after that, I'm gonna split this container into three parts. First one will include our language option. And after that, I'm gonna create here a search input. And in the middle, I'm gonna create here our logo. And finally, our login and register links and other stuff. Okay, firstly, I'm gonna delete this background color. It's not gonna be black. And after that, let's create our wrapper. I'll say const wrapper and styled. It's gonna be div again. And inside backticks, I'm gonna write here padding from top and bottom, 10 pixels, from left and right, 20 pixels. So let's write here, I'll say wrapper. I'm gonna cover this text. And let's check, as you can see, we have space from left and top, and from right and bottom also, so I can create my other components. Let's say const left and styled is gonna be div. I'm gonna replicate this. Second one will be center, and this one will be right. So let's write them here. Firstly, it's gonna be left and let's say left and center let's change it and finally right and I'm gonna say right and as you can see it's not horizontal to do that I'm gonna use flexbox I'm gonna go to the parent which is wrapper and I'm gonna say display flex and as you can see they are horizontal right now so how I'm gonna split them? It's really easy, I'll write here justify content and it's gonna be space between. And this time, first element at the beginning, last element at the ending, and this is in the middle. Perfect. But if I write here something really long, let's say lorem, and I'm gonna create this random text and I'm saving. And as you can see, there is something wrong here. That because our left side is really long and center and right is here. So how am I gonna prevent this? To do that, I should give some sizes for this left, center and right side. And they should be even. To do that, you can write here width. And if you consider the wrapper is 100%, it's gonna be 33.3%. If I copy this and write for them, as you can see, they have same size right now. But it's not the efficient way because it's not a hundred percent in total. To do that, you should write here three, 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 something like that. And even like that, it's not gonna be a hundred percent. So what I'm gonna do, I will come here and write flex one. So I will do the same thing for others. Let's see. As you can see, they are exactly the same. So if I write here, for example, two, left and right side is one unit, and our center is two units, twice bigger than left and right side. It's that easy. Okay, so let's create other components inside our left side. I will say const and let's say language. I will say styled and it's gonna be 
span because it's going to be text for now. After we are going to change this with maybe input, we can select our languages. So let's say font size 14. And I will say cursor pointer. Let's see, I will copy this and inside my left side, I will paste here and inside, let's say English. Okay, perfect. As you can see, cursor pointer. Okay, after that, I'm going to create my search input. To do that, I'm going to create search container. And it's going to include my input and after that, my icon. So what kind of icon I can use? You can use font awesome and design material UI. There are a lot of options, but we are going to be using material UI. It's the easiest way to use your icons, I think. Let's open up here material UI and icons. And as you can see, there are tons of icons here. You can choose any of them. First of all, I'm going to choose search. And we are going to be using this icon. And as you can see, we should import this library first. But it's not enough. We should also import material UI and core library. Otherwise, we are not going to able to use these icons. So let's do that. I will come here to my terminal. And I'm going to say npm install or yarn add and material UI. Firstly, core. And after that, material UI icons. And it's a really useful framework for your React UI. And I created an awesome material UI tutorial, by the way. If you want to improve your UI skills, I highly recommend you to watch that video. Okay, anyway, let's come here. As you can see, it's ready. I will shrink this again. And I'm going to use my icon here. Remember, it was just search. I will say search here. And as you can see, it recommends us to use this element from this library, material UI and icons. And I'm going to click this and it's here. Perfect. I can use this icon right now. Let's close this tag and I'm going to create my search container. Where is our left side? Okay. After language, I'm going to create my search container. It's going to be styled and div again. And let's give some border first. I will say one pixel, solid, and let's say light gray color. Let's see. And it's here. But as you can see, it's under our language. So I will do the same thing. I'm going to use display flex here. Our parent, I will say display flex. They are horizontal right now. But as you can see, they are not vertically centered. To do that, I will write here align item center and awesome. They are centered. So I can do the same thing for this search container. Let's come here. I will say display flex and align item center. Okay, so I hope you understood how to use Flexbox to make your whole items horizontal. You can use Flexbox to center them vertically, align item center, and to center them horizontally, you can use justify content. From now on, I'm not going to explain how to use Flexbox. As you can see, it's really easy. By the way, I can center my left, center, and right side also. Let's go to the wrapper. And as you can see, we did right here, align item center. Okay, let's give some properties for this container. Search container. And I'm going to give margin left first. I will say 25 pixels. Maybe I can make this 0 0.5. It can be smaller. And after that, let's give some padding inside. Okay, awesome. Let's create our input. I will say const input is going to be styled and input. I'm going to open my backticks and inside. Let's don't write anything. 
just copy and paste here and let's see okay it's here but as you can see this border doesn't look good let's change it I will say border none and okay perfect let's take care of our center site I'm gonna add here my logo I will say const logo and styled let's say h1 I'm not gonna use any image I will just say font weight bold let's use it inside our center I'm gonna open my tag I'm gonna write my application name let's write here dot it can be fancier I think and perfect but as you can see it's not centered to do that let's go to the center and I will say text align center okay awesome so what about this right side I'm gonna add my register and login links and after that I'm gonna create a shopping cart icon and we can use material UI page let's open up again and here I'm gonna find page and as you can see it looks really nice we can use one of them let's open up this code and as you can see we should import page from our material UI and core and after that we are gonna import our icon and we are gonna combine them like that it's really easy let's come here firstly I'm gonna create my links I will say after right const let's say menu link or menu item styled and let's say div and font size let's say 14 and cursor will be pointer okay let's use it inside my right side I will say menu item and firstly let's say register I will replicate this it's gonna be sign in and finally I'm gonna use my page let's copy this and paste here I'm gonna import this page from our material UI as you can see material UI and core I will click this and here we are not gonna use this mail icon instead let's search for our icons and here I will write it looks nice but it's filled with black I just wanna make this outlined I will click here as you can see it's better I will copy this name and only thing I should do is pasting here and I'm gonna delete last letter and write again and it's gonna show this recommendation as you can see material UI icons perfect let's check here patch from core and shopping cart from icons perfect and here as you can see we can write any number it's gonna be four for now and perfect let's make them horizontal inside right side I will say display flex and align item center but as you can see there's a problem here that because it's at the beginning how I'm gonna move this here at the end only thing I should do is writing here justify content this time it's not gonna be space between or center it's gonna be flex and end of the flex box perfect so let's give some margin for these menu items I will say margin left 25 pixels awesome I can change this icon style to do that I'm gonna use inner style let's go to the search icon and I will write here style and inside I can write my color and font size let's say color gray and font size it's gonna be 16 pixels let's see as you can see it's smaller and gray and it looks really nice so we finished our navbar let's create other components before adding here a slider we can create here an announcement and we can announce our sales or free shipping opportunity or whatever let's create our component 
I will open up my components and here I will say announcement. Oops, I created folder. Let's delete this and create file. Okay, I'm going to create my function. And let's create our container first. By the way, you don't have to import your React here. It just creates because of this extension, but we don't need that after React 17. Anyway, let's create our container. I will say const container. It's going to be styled. I'm going to import this style component here. And after that, I will say div. Uh, firstly, height will be 30 pixels. Let's give background color. It's going to be teal. And font color will be white. Let's see first. I will write here container. And I'm going to copy and paste my text here. I don't want to waste time. Okay, let's see. I will open up my home page here. And before this number, I'm going to call my second component. I will say announcement. But make sure that you are using your components. That because it recommends us to use material UI and icons. We are not going to use it. We are going to use our component. Announcement from components. Perfect. I will close this. And let's see. And it's here. Awesome. We can center this text. And let's take care of this font style or something. And I will say display flags. And I'm going to center them vertically and horizontally. And let's say font size 14 is going to be smaller. And font weight is going to be bolder. 500. Okay, awesome. It looks really nice. Right now we can create our slider. I will close everything here. And I'm going to create my new component, which is slider. I'm going to create my function. Okay, firstly, I'm going to create my container, as we always do. I can delete here, and I will say const container. It's going to be styled and div. And I will say width 100% and height will be 100VH. So basically, it's going to be full screen slider. And after that, I will say display flex. After that, I'm going to create two arrows that we can click on that. I will say arrow is going to be our container. And inside, I'm going to create my icon. Let's choose here. I will say arrow. Let's say left. I will copy this and paste here. Of course, I should import. Okay. And I'm going to need one more arrow. I will duplicate this and it's going to be arrow right outlined. Let's import this also. Okay, they are here. Let's create our style components. I'll say const arrow is going to be styled and div. And I'm going to say width 50, height 50. And background color is going to be white, but it can be a little bit grayish. Something like that, maybe. Okay, we will try. And I will say border radius 50%. That because it's going to be circle. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I forgot writing inside my home page. After navbar, I will say slider. Again, don't import from material UI. It's going to be our component. Okay. And it's here. Perfect. But as you can see, they are not centered. Let's do that quickly. I will say display flex. Align item center. And just Y content center. Okay, perfect. 
I will give background color for this container and we can see better I think let's choose coral maybe okay so how I'm gonna position this arrow left side will be somewhere here and right side will be here to do that I'm gonna use position absolute and don't forget guys if you are using position absolute the parents should be position relative okay right now I'm gonna center them vertically it's gonna be in the middle of this container how I'm gonna do this it's really easy I will say top 0 and bottom 0 and if I say margin auto it's gonna center this vertically as you can see it's here by the way right side is also here that because their position are same so how I'm gonna separate them for the left side it's gonna be left 10 pixels for example like that and right side will be right 10 pixels to do that I should use props here we can use props inside our style components and it's the one of the best features of the style components so what I mean by that let's come here in our arrow component I'm gonna give here a prop which is direction it's gonna be left side I will copy this and for this arrow it's gonna be right side basically we can use these props here inside our arrow component so let's delete this 10 pixels instead we can write here our JavaScript so I will say take these props so how I'm gonna use this direction it's really easy I will say props dot direction and I can write here my condition I will say if it's left it's gonna be 10 pixels so I can do the same thing for right side let's write here semicolon okay uh, for right side we are gonna check again our directions if the direction is right right will be 10 pixels let's check as you can see left side is here right side is here perfect if you are confused just watch here again and you are gonna understand there is nothing complex and after this I will say cursor pointer I just give this cursor effect coming okay perfect so I can change this opacity maybe I will say opacity it's gonna be 0 0.5 it can be a little bit transparent like this okay perfect right now I can add my slides to do that let's delete this background color first I'm gonna add wrapper here it's gonna include our images and when we click this left and right side we are just gonna move this wrapper to left or right I will say const wrapper it's gonna be styled and div and I will say height a hundred percent let's write it here between these arrows I will say wrapper and inside I can write my slides let's create slide container I will say const slide it's gonna be styled and div and basically we are gonna add here our image and here we are gonna have our title description and button to do that I'm gonna create here two more divs this is gonna be image container and it's gonna be info container of course they are gonna be horizontal image and info so I should write here display flags and align item center I will give some spaces here okay so for the container image container flags will be one and this is gonna be same that because they are gonna be same size 
So after that, I can create my image here. I will say const image styled image. So before doing anything, I'm going to write here my containers and image. Info container, it's not image, it's like that I think. Okay. And inside I'm gonna write my image. Let's write here our source. It's gonna be this URL and let's see. Okay, like that. But this image is really big and it's overflowing right now. Let's come here. By the way, I forgot this slide. After wrapper, it's gonna be slide. For the slide, I'm gonna give with 100 VW. So it's gonna contain all our container. And hide 100 VH. And for this container, I will say height 100%, which is 100 VH because it's this parent. And finally, for this image, I will say height 80%. And awesome. So for this info container, firstly, I'm going to give some padding, let's say 50 pixels. And after that, I'm going to create my title, description, and button. I'll say const title. It's going to be styled and h1. This is going to be description and button. Okay. Let's write them here inside our info container. Firstly, title, description, and button. Okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste my texts. And for button, it's gonna be just shop now. Let's see. Okay, something like that. Let's change this styles. For the H1, it's gonna be font size 70 pixels. And for description, I will give some margin first. Margin 50 pixels from top and bottom, and I don't want any margin from left and right. And after that, font size will be 20. Okay. Maybe font weight 500. And I want to change this letter space. I will say letter spacing. Let's say 3 pixels. Okay, it's better. So what about this button? I will give padding first. Padding 10. Let's see. Okay. I will give font size. I don't want this gray background, so I'm going to delete it. Background color will be transparent. Okay, and finally, cursor pointer. Okay, nice. So this is gonna be our first slide. So let's duplicate this. We are gonna use dummy data after, but for now, let's duplicate and see. And as you can see, they are vertical. So how I'm gonna make them horizontal? It's really easy. Let's go to the wrapper. It's gonna be display flex. Okay, awesome. They are like that right now. But I don't wanna see beyond this screen. I'm just gonna move this slider when I click this button or this one. So I can prevent this overflowing. 
To do that, I will go to the container and I will say overflow hidden. By the way, there is a typo here. It's going to be sale. And let's change this. Maybe winter sale. And let's say popular. Okay. By the way, I can give some background color for these slides. To do that, I'm gonna pass them as props. So if I come here and say background color, first one will be this color, which is light blue. And I'm gonna copy this and paste for other slides. And I'm gonna change them. This is second. And this is third one. So how I'm going to use this background? I can take these props here inside my slide. So I will say background color. I will say take props and right here props.bg. Okay, we can see here that because we forgot here hashtag. So how I'm going to give arrow functionality. Firstly, I'm going to create click event for this left side and right side and after that we are gonna handle that click so let's come here for this first arrow I will say on click event and it's gonna be handle click but this is our left side so I should indicate here my direction which is left of course if you are taking parameter you should write here arrow function okay so I'm gonna do the same thing for right side. I will copy this and for right arrow, I will paste and this time it's gonna be right. So let's create our handle click function. Here I will say const handle click and it's gonna take direction. Before writing anything here, I just wanna show you something. If I go to the my wrapper and if I say transform and translate X, that because we are going to move this slider on the X axis. And if I say minus 100 pixels, as you can see, it just moved on the X axis 100 pixels. So if I say 200, as you can see, it's going to move like that. So what if I write here 100 VW. As you can see, this is our second slide. If I say 200 here, it's gonna be third one. But I shouldn't say 300, that because we have only three slides. As you can see, it's empty right now. In this case, when I click, it's gonna be again 0 VW. And same thing for the left arrow. By the way, we can see it. We should give that index for this arrow. But anyway, when I click this left arrow, it shouldn't be 100 VH. That because it's going to be empty again. Like that. In this case, it's going to be minus 200. Which is our last slide. Like that. So how I'm going to give this functionality? At the beginning, it's going to be zero and let's take care of this arrows this is our arrow so i will say set index two okay perfect i'm gonna create use state hook and we are gonna decide our slide index you are gonna understand better right now don't worry i will come here and i will say const slide index and set slide index. And at the beginning, I will use use state hook. It's gonna be zero. That because we are gonna be using slide arrays and it's gonna be our first element, second element, and third element. Actually, let's do that. I'm gonna move this. I will come here and inside source, I will say data.js. And inside, I'm gonna copy and paste my array 
and it contains our IDs, image, title, description, and this is going to be our background color. So we can use these slider items. We don't need to write them one by one. So I can delete these two slides. Okay. I will say import slider items from, as you can see, our data. So I can use this. Before this slider, I'm going to open curly brackets here. And I will say slider items. And I'm going to map to this array. And for each item, I'm going to write this slide. Let's move this here. Okay. So in this case, we don't have to write by manually. It's going to be item.bg. And this is going to be item. What was the name? Image title description. Image title, oops, item of course, and description. Something wrong. Oh, okay. I forgot. Just saving. Okay, right now, image. Oh, it should be like that. Okay, perfect. As you can see, it's exactly the same thing. And our other slides beyond this right side, we can see them right now. So what I'm gonna do, when it's our first slide, which means zeroth element of our array, when I click this button, our slide index will be 1. So in this case, when I click this button, it shouldn't be minus 1, that because it's our first slide, we don't have any other slide before this one. In this case, we should go to the third one. So when we see here our second slide, our slide index will be 1. When I click this button, it's gonna be 2. And when I click this button, it's gonna be 0 again. And finally, when we see here our third item, which means slide index is 2. When I click this button, slide index will be 1. And when I click this button, it's gonna be 0 again. That's because we don't have any other slide. Firstly, we have direction here. When we click these buttons, I'm gonna write here if else block. Firstly, I will say if direction is left, if it's left arrow, I'm gonna update here my slide index. It's gonna be set slide index. So I'm gonna write here one more condition. If it's not first item, make it minus one. So I will say set the slide index, but if it's bigger than zero, write here slide index minus one. If it's not, which means if it's our first slide like that, we should go to the last item, which is two. So I'm gonna do the same thing for right side. I will say as, which means if direction is left, I'm gonna set my slider again. I will say set slide index. And right now, my other condition. I'm gonna say if slider index smaller than two, it means we can go to the right side so we can increase our slide index. So I will say slide index, oops, slide here. And I'm gonna increase this number. If it's not, we should return our first slide, which is zero. So in this case, I can use this slide index in my wrapper. Remember, we can just multiply this value. For each 100 VW, remember, we are going to right side. So for the first item, it's gonna be zero, and it's gonna be zero. For the second item, it's gonna be one, and in total, it's gonna be minus 100, and finally, when I click to write again, it's gonna be two, and we are gonna see our last item. So I can take this value as props. Let's come here. Inside our worker, I'm gonna pass this props. I will say slide index. It's gonna be our slide index. So basically, I just pass this value. Okay, 
let's use it I will come here and inside let's delete here and use our props I will say take the props and props dot slide index and multiply by minus a hundred and of course I should write here VW and let's see I'm clicking right side and as you can see second one I'm clicking again third one and I'm clicking again and it's going to first one again perfect and this is our first slide I will click here it's gonna be our last item else perfect but we don't have any animation here let's add that and it's gonna look better I will say transition I will say all one second or one and a half second and it's gonna be is timing function let's see again I'll click and as you can see we have an animation perfect it's really nice By the way, if you want to learn more about these animations, you can check the description below. I have an awesome animation course. You can learn about these transitions, transforms, animations. I highly recommend it. Okay, so we finished our slider also. It looks very really nice. So we can create our categories. So before this category component, I'm gonna write here my fake data again. I will just copy and paste as you can see we have categories id image and title so we are gonna have three categories so let's create our component i will say categories jsx and i'm gonna create my function let's write here container so basically we are gonna have three categories to do that i'm gonna write here another component and it's gonna be category let's say item and container again let's create them const container is gonna be styled and div let's do the same thing for categories I'm gonna import styled and one more thing I'm gonna import and it's gonna be my category array here I will write here data okay perfect so I can map through my array I will say categories dot map and for each item I'm gonna call my category item component okay so as prop I will give my item so I can take this prop here and I can use inside my container okay let's close this slider and I'm gonna open my home page and after slider I will say categories here okay so what I'm gonna do, by the way, we are importing this from Material UI, it should be style components. Let's check here too. Oh, okay, there's a mistake. Okay. So firstly, remember it's our categories, not item. I will say display flex. Because they are gonna be horizontal. And Additionally, I'm gonna give some padding. Let's write here something and we can see. Let's check. Oh, okay, it should be without curly brackets. Let's check. Okay, we have three hello here. So I'm gonna separate them. I will say just file content and space between okay awesome let's create our items i will come here and inside my container i'm gonna create first image 
of course we are going to create later and after that we are going to have some info this info container is going to include our title it's going to be item.title because remember in our data we have image title and our image will be here source item.image I will close here and finally I'm going to create a button and it's going to say shop now let's delete this and I'm going to create my image info title and button here image is going to be image and info container is going to be div and title let's say h1 and button okay let's see okay images are really huge and our title and button perfect let's make these images a little bit smaller and move this information on this image to do that i will write here flex one remember all these cards will be same size but if you do that it's not gonna work that because we didn't give any size for our image so i will come here and say width a hundred percent okay perfect so i can give some margin between these images i will go to the container and i'm gonna say margin 3 like that awesome and i can give some height and they will be same let's say height 70 vh and after that i should write your height 100 percent like that but as you can see our images are a little bit weird that because we didn't give any object width so i will write here object width is gonna be covered so basically it's gonna crop these images and show us this covered version awesome so how i'm gonna move this information here it's really easy i'm gonna give position absolute but as i said before if you are using position absolute the parent should be position relative let's do that for container i will say position relative and for info position absolute okay so what i'm gonna do is giving width and height is gonna be a hundred percent and a hundred percent basically it's gonna contain all our container and i should give my positions it's gonna be top zero and left zero basically it's gonna start from here and contain all these container if i write here background color as you can see it contains but they are here so how i'm gonna center this as we always do i will say display flex align item center and justify content center okay awesome but they are horizontal i'm gonna choose flex direction i will come here and i'm gonna say flex direction it's gonna be column this time they are gonna be vertical like that so let's take care of our title i'm gonna say font color white and i'm gonna give some margin between this title and button like that and i'm gonna change this style button style i will delete this border and i'm gonna give padding okay let's change this background color and font color i will say background color is gonna be white and font color will be gray and finally i will say cursor pointer so we can click like that maybe a font weight 600 
Okay, have some. It looks really nice. Of course, you can enhance these categories. You can add more, but for now, I'm just gonna add three of them. So right now, what I'm gonna do is adding my products. After these categories, I'm gonna create one more component here. Let's close them. By the way, I can add my fake data here. I will just paste here our products. We have ID and image. Okay, let's create. Firstly, we are gonna have products. So I will do the same thing as we did here. We are gonna have container, which is products, and each card here will be our single product. So I'm gonna create one more component. It's gonna be product. JSX. Okay, let's create. By the way, I will save here. RAFC. It's gonna be container cons container styled and div. So I can do the same thing here. This time it's gonna be products. Okay. So I'm gonna import my data, popular products here. Let's import popular products from data. Okay, so I can map this. Products.map for each item. I'm gonna call single product. And I'm gonna give my prop here, which is item. Right now, I'm able to use this item. By the way, I forgot doing something here. If you are using any map, you should indicate here your unique key. So what's our unique key here inside our data? As you can see, it's our ID. It's one, two, three. All these numbers are different. So it can be our unique key. So I will say here, item.id. If you don't do that, it's still gonna work, but it's gonna warn you inside your console that you should use unique keys. Of course, I should do the same thing for categories. Here our map, I will say key, item.id again. So what else we used here? Slider, let's open up. Our map, and I will say key, item.id. Okay. So let's give some padding and make them horizontal. I will say padding 20. It's exactly the same thing we did for categories. So display flex. Okay. But there is a problem here. Okay, I'm gonna show you later. Just wait for that. Let's take our prop here, which is our item. And we are gonna use them. Firstly, we have container. Second one, I'm gonna do something different here. I'm gonna create a circle. Basically, we are gonna have a background color for this container, and after that, I'm gonna create another background, which is circle. So it can be a little bit fancier. You don't have to do that, but it will look better, I think. And after that, I'm gonna create image, and source will be our item dot image. Again, we are gonna have info container. And it's going to include three icons. So let's create icon container. And inside, let's choose our first icon. It's going to be cart again. Let's remember this one. Let's paste here. And I'm going to import from material UI. Okay. So two more. I'm going to duplicate this. And second one will be search icon. It doesn't have to be outlined, but doesn't matter. I will import. And finally, I will say heart. Okay, this one is good. Favorite border. 
I'm going to paste here. Okay. So let's create them. But firstly, again, I will say flex one. And I'm going to give some margin between these all cards. Semicolon here and margin five. And let's create other items here. And we can arrange them later. Const circle is going to be div image info and icon info is going to be div and icon will be div okay let's see but before i should of course write this inside my home page after categories i will say products okay they are here as you can see they are really big our icons perfect let's close here and let's take care of our image i'm gonna use here percentage to do that i'm gonna go to the parent and give some width and height i will say mean width and let's say 280 and for height let's say 350 and finally for my image I will come here and say height 75% let's see okay nice but as you can see since we said display flex for our products they are all horizontal but I just want to see here just four items so to do that I should come here products and I should write here flex wrap and it's gonna be wrap let's see awesome as you can see four of them are here and others are here so i can separate them i will say justify content and space between okay they look like that that because we didn't center them here for our container i'm gonna say display flex align item center and justify content will be center okay yes they are centered right now so i can give some background color for this container single product container here i will say background color something like gray and blue like that and let's create our circle here our circle by the way I'm gonna separate them okay so let's say we 200 height will be the same and after I will make this circle so I will say border radius is gonna be 50% background color let's say white and let's see okay why it's not circle Ah, that's because it's display flex and we see all items in the same row so anyway it's not important that because i'm gonna make this position absolute and it's gonna be here awesome so how i'm gonna see these products these images it's really easy we did before set index is gonna be two It's gonna be front of this circle awesome so i'm gonna do the same thing for this info with a hundred percent height a hundred percent and position absolute and top zero left zero and remember our parent let's go to the container and it's going to be position relative and i will give some background color let's say black for now so i will say z index is going to be three okay perfect let's change it and we can see our icons also okay they are here so firstly i'm going to center them Yeah, 
align item center just y content center okay let's take care of these icons i'll save it 40 height 40 it's gonna be circle again so i will say for the radius it's gonna be 50 percent and background color it's gonna be white and again i'm gonna center everything inside i mean our icons will be centered okay perfect so i can give some margin maybe 10. let's see okay right now i'm gonna show you how to add hover effect when i hover this i'm gonna change this background color and maybe make them a little bit bigger it's really easy only thing you should do is writing here hover and inside this object i'm gonna write background color it's gonna be this blue color i will copy and paste and i'm gonna make this bigger so i'll say transform and scale at the beginning it's just one so I will make this 1.1 so it's gonna be bigger let's see as you can see yes. so I can give some animation let's say transition and for all it's gonna be 0 0.5 second and is timing function let's try again as you can see it's animated right now perfect so what else i can do it looks really strange i know we can change this background color it's not gonna be gray i will say rgba and it's gonna be black but i'm gonna give some opacity here 0 0.2 so it's gonna be something like that perfect but as you can see it looks a little bit weird that because there is no sense to see these icons without hovering over any cart so what i'm gonna do is writing here opacity zero at the beginning we are not gonna see them like that so when i hover this container it's gonna appear we are gonna make this opacity one again and we are gonna see this cart so to do that i should give hover effect for our container let's come here and write hover colon here but if i write like that i can only change my container so how i'm gonna use my info here it's really easy with style components only thing you should do is writing here your component name which is info but as you can see there is a warning here it says it's used before it was defined so basically i should copy this and paste here we should define before our hover effect in this case we can use our component what i will do is writing here opacity one let's see Oh, I didn't delete this. Oh, okay. Sorry, I will delete this one. We already defined. I will save. And it's here. As you can see, when I hover over, I can see my info. Perfect. And again, I can give some transition. Let's come here for our info. I will say transition all. 0 0.5 seconds and is exactly the same animation let's try as you can see it's better perfect and i can give cursor pointer for this info so we can click okay awesome it looks really nice let's add our newsletter I will create new component not in source here newsletter 
let's create quickly our function container so it's gonna contain our title description and I'm gonna create here input container and inside this container I'm gonna write our input which we can enter our email I can close this like that and finally I'm gonna create a button and inside let's choose here some icon I'll say send I will say field okay this one is good import from our icons and that's all okay let's create them I will say const container styled from style components don't forget that and after that div and title description container input and button let's create title description input container input and button I will change them it's gonna be div why I didn't use this ah okay it should be shortcut okay and title will be h1 so let's write here something it's gonna be newsletter and I'm gonna paste my description and for the input I can give some placeholder and it's gonna be your email and that's all I think let's take care of our style components so I'm gonna give some height for this I'm gonna write here background color it's gonna be this color and display flex I'm gonna center everything align item center and justify content center of course I should write here flex direction but before let's see how it looks it can be confusing if I write everything before seeing so I will write here newsletter let's open up okay it's here as you can see everything is horizontal so I will make them vertical so I will say flex direction it's gonna be column okay awesome let's change this title font size will be bigger let's say 70 and I will give some margin between this title and description like that let's change this description font size 24 font weight will be 300 and again margin bottom 20 like that so what about this container let's take care of firstly I'm gonna give some width and it's gonna be 50% and let's give some height 40 and background color is gonna be white let's see okay right now I can separate this input and this button so I will say display flex and just file content space between okay it's here and it's here so I can give some border border one pixel solid and let's say light gray okay nice so I'm gonna delete this 
border from our input. Let's say border non non. Okay, awesome. But this input is too small and this button also, so I can give some width for them or flex. Let's give flex. It's gonna be eight units. So if I write here flex one unit. As you can see, it's 8 units and it's 1 unit. You can change this as you wish, like that, but 1 is really nice. Let's give some padding for this, that because it's really close to the left side, I mean this placeholder, so I will say padding left to any pixels. Like that, awesome. So what about this button? Let's delete our border. I'm gonna give background color. It's gonna be something like teal and font color will be white. Really nice. So it looks awesome. And finally, for our home page, one more thing we should create. And it's gonna be our footer. Let's create quickly. I will say footer.jsx. I'm gonna create my function. As always, container. I will delete this and write my container. Okay. And I'm gonna split this container left, right, and center. Left center and right side okay so they are gonna be in the same row so i will say display flex let's separate them and i will give flex one for each flex and one okay for the left side i'm gonna create logo description and social media icons so let's create here first. I will say left and others center and inside left. Firstly, we are going to create our logo. It's going to be llama. And after that, we are going to have description. And I'm going to paste my description here. And finally, Let's close here, by the way. I'm gonna create social container. That because it's gonna contain our Facebook, Twitter, and other icons, and they are gonna be horizontal. So let's create first icon. I'll say social icon. And it's gonna be Facebook. Let's check here. I will write Facebook. As you can see, it's here or any other Instagram. Like that, we are going to be using them. So I will say Facebook and I'm going to import and I will copy and paste this again. This is going to be Instagram, Twitter, maybe Pinterest. And that's all I think. Let's delete this one. Okay, so let's create our elements here. After left, I will say const logo first. Styled, it's gonna be h1 tag, description, container, and icon. It's gonna be p tag, this is gonna be icon container. Uh, social icon it's gonna be div also okay let's check okay everything looks good and for the left side I will say display flex and uh, flex direction will be column they are gonna be vertical and I'm gonna give some padding let's say 20 
Okay. Let's see first. Of course, I forgot again our home page, and I'm gonna write here footer. Okay. Let's see. Okay, perfect. I will give some margin from top and bottom for this description. Let's close here. And for description, I will say margin 20, but only top and bottom. Okay. So for this container, it's gonna be display flex. They are gonna be in the same row like that and for these icons let's give some style with 40 pixels height 40 pixels i'm gonna make this circle border radius let's say 50 percent i will give color it's gonna be white okay we can see them right now because we don't have background color so we can take this background color as props so if I come here and for each icon I will say color I will just copy and paste them quickly okay let's use it I will come here and background color I will say take my props and look inside and find color of course I forgot hashtag here okay awesome as you can see it's not centered let's center them align item center justify content center okay awesome maybe margin between each other I will say margin right 20 pixels okay nice what about our center I'm gonna add here a title and after we are gonna add our links I'm gonna create list and list items let's do that but before I will say padding 20 by the way it's gonna be padding 20 also for each card okay after that I will say const title I will say styled and h3 let's leave it like that and write our list styled and ul and finally list item it's gonna be list item okay let's write them first inside center i will say title i will say useful links after that my list and list item actually i'm gonna copy and paste them there is no sense to waste time okay let's see something like that so i want to separate this list and i can delete these dots and give margin here let's do that for title i will say margin bottom it's gonna be 30 pixels for this list firstly i'm gonna delete margin and padding because when you create ul it has its own margin and padding by default so I just deleted them. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this list style. It's gonna be non, like that. And I will say display flags. And remember what we are doing, I will say flags wrap. It's gonna be wrap. Of course, to apply this, I should give here a width. I will say 50% as you can see we have two columns right now perfect maybe some margin between each other margin bottom let's say 10. okay yes and for the right side i'm gonna add again 
a title and after we are going to add our address phone number and other stuff it's going to be title again let's write here title is going to be same so i will say contact and after that let's create here contact item first one will be our address and again i'm going to duplicate this it's going to be our phone number let's say something like that and finally let's write here our contact email contact at lama.dev okay by the way we can add here some icons before this text let's come here and check for them firstly i will search for map and this is good before this text i'm gonna add this i will import from material ui okay and for others i will say phone it's gonna be this phone i will import and finally it's gonna be mail this outline one looks good let's add here okay and after that i'm gonna add here an image i will say payment it's gonna be image so i can write here my source here okay let's take care of them i will copy this contact item and here after write const contact item is gonna be styled and div let's see first uh, okay i forgot payment const payment is gonna be styled and image okay awesome so right now i can give some space here and i can center them margin bottom 20 display flags and align item center and for this payment i can reduce this image size maybe let's say a bit a hundred percent okay perfect so what about this space between icon and our text to do that i will come here for room i'm gonna use inner style it's gonna be margin right and let's say 10 pixels let's copy this for phone and mail let's see okay so we finished our footer also basically we finished our home page which page i can create when i click any category we can go to the category page so let's create here i will close components and for pages i will say product list so let's close everything and open up again okay so let's create our function as always i will create my container styled and div i can use this container here okay right now i'm gonna open up my app jazz this time instead of home page i'm gonna call my product list i will import and let's see it's gonna be empty screen okay let's come here i can close my app jazz let's decide what we are gonna do firstly i'm gonna create here my navbar again and my announcement and after that profile list page we are gonna have a title here and after that we are gonna have here filter container we can choose our cloth size color or something like that and this site will be sorting filter and finally we are gonna use again our product list 
in our components we have products here we can use them again we don't have to create from scratch okay firstly let's say navbar i should import this import navbar from components and navbar let's see okay it's here and after that i can import my announcement okay it's not here again let's import oops typo okay perfect and finally let's create filter container of course it should be capital and as i said we are going to have two filters first one will be our product filter and second one will be sorting filter so let's say filter for example but before i forgot my title let's say title it's gonna be dresses So let's write here filter one, filter two, and we can create them later. Okay, firstly, title, container, and filter. Filter, container, filter. And it's gonna be H1. Okay, nice. So if I make this container display flex, we can separate this filter one and two and if i say justify content space between second one will be here let's do that display flex and justify content space between not around between like that okay so let's give some margin for them I will just separate them first okay I will say margin 20 and for this filter also each folder will be margin 20 okay nice and after that I'm gonna add my products why it's not up here interesting Anyway, I should import this manually. And after that, let's import our newsletter. And finally, I will say footer. Let's import them also. Products. Newsletter. And footer. Let's see. Okay, apps. It's really easy, as you can see. When you separate your components, it's really easy to use again and again. We almost finished this page. Only thing we should do is creating our filters. Let's come here. And after that, I will say const filter text styled and I will say span font size 20 and uh, font weight let's say oops weight 600 so I can use them inside my filters I will say filter products let's copy here and it's gonna be sort products okay awesome so i can create here select and options 
so we can choose our colors sizes and here we can choose our sorting method so let's create here const select it's gonna be select element and this is gonna be option let's create them first after this text I will say select and inside I'm gonna write my options I will just copy and paste here as you can see we have some options white black red and this is gonna be our default option we can select this but we can see here let's see as you can see it says color and we can choose one of these colors we can't click here have some so I can do the same thing for size I will just copy and paste after this select as you can see option size small medium large and others Yes. so what about sorting I will come here after this text I'm gonna paste my select oops we should be price let's see okay color size and sorting have some let's give some style here I will just give padding 10 pixels and I will separate them margin right to any so I forgot giving margin here for our text I will save margin right to any again okay it looks really nice we can choose our properties and after this video we are gonna handle our products by using this select and options so we finished our list page let's create single product page I will open up my pages and here I will say product just X I'm gonna create my function and again container styled and div let's change them I will go to the app jazz and I'm gonna import my product and we are gonna create our elements here let's close here and firstly again I'm gonna import my navbar and announcement now bar here and announcement and again newsletter and finally footer I just import other product I think yeah it's components it should be pages okay awesome so between this newsletter and this announcement I can create my single product page let's close here and um, between them firstly we are gonna have a wrapper I'll say wrapper and basically I'm gonna split this wrapper left side will be our image and right side will be our information and purchase button so let's create them firstly I will say image container and inside we are gonna create our image and source I will paste my image here and after that it's gonna be info container what we are gonna have firstly I'm gonna create a title and then it's gonna be description our product description And we are gonna have price let's write here something $20 and my description and I'm gonna copy and paste my title okay let's create them first 
then we can take care of other things wrapper image container image and info container it's gonna be image and what does after this container i will duplicate again title description and price p and let's say spell okay let's see okay our image and other stuff let's give some padding for our wrapper padding 50 pixels and it's gonna be display flex I will separate them okay for image container let's say flex one and it's gonna be same for info container so basically I'm just gonna divide this page from the middle but this image is very really huge so I will say with a hundred percent like that okay maybe I can change this height also because it's really long image maybe height 90 vh and object fit will be cover we are gonna just crop this image okay yes so let's give padding for our info container i will say padding from top and bottom and from left and right like that yes so what about our title I will say font fade to 100 it's gonna be thinner like that for description I can give space between title and price so I will say margin from top and bottom left and right okay so what about this price I can change again font weight it's gonna be a hundred and font size will be 40 pixels okay nice so what else I can do again I can add my filters my colors and sizes let's do that I will come here after my price I will say filter container again we are gonna have two filters but this time first one will be color second one will be size so let's say filter let's delete this and it's gonna include filter title and let's say color after that we are gonna have filter color basically we are gonna have three colors and we are gonna send them as props so I will say color black I will copy this and it's gonna be dark blue and finally it's gonna be gray okay so after that we are gonna have second filter and again filter title and it's gonna be size and after that we are gonna use select and options I will say filter size and inside filter size option first one will be x small I will duplicate this small medium large and x large 
I can delete last one. Oops. Okay. It looks a little bit messy here, but we are gonna handle that. Okay, after this price, I will say const filter container styled and div. What else we have? Filter, filter title, color, size, and option. Filter, filter, title, filter, color, size, and size option. I will just change them, select option, and others will be due, I think. Maybe this title is going to be span. Let's separate them and start after that. Okay, so what about our container? As I said, we have two filters and it's going to be in the same row. So I will say display flex. And I will say just Y content space between. Let's see. Okay, maybe I can reduce this width. So I don't want that space. So I will say width 50% like that is enough, I think. Maybe I can give margin between this price. So I will say margin 30 pixels and 0 pixel. Okay, abs. So what about these filters? They look okay right now, but after that I'm gonna give padding for this section, this select, and they are not gonna be centered anymore. To prevent this, I'll write here display flex and align item center. And this title, I'm gonna increase this font size, let's say 20 pixels, and font weight will be 200. Like that, yes. So what about these colors? I'm gonna create color palette here. So let's say with 20, height 20, it's gonna be circle again, so for the radius, 50% and again I'm gonna use my props for background color take these props and choose color like that okay let's give some space here margin 0 and 5 pixels oops pixels Okay, it looks really nice. I can give cursor pointer so we can choose them. Okay, awesome. So what about this filter size? I can give margin again. Margin left, 10 pixels. And I can give padding maybe 5 pixels. Okay, perfect. It looks really nice. So what else I can add? I can add here product amount. It's gonna be one and we can increase or decrease. And finally, we are gonna have purchase button. So basically, let's come here after filter container. I'm gonna add one more container. It's gonna be add container. Oops, it should be together. Okay, firstly I will say amount container and we are going to have remove button and add button. Of course, make sure that you are importing from material UI icons, remove also. I'm going to write my amount. 
is going to be 1 at the beginning. And after this amount container, I'm going to write button and it's going to be add to cart. Okay, let's create them. Add container div amount container and our text which is one and button. It's gonna be span and it's gonna be div. Let's see. As you can see our buttons. Okay, let's make this display flex quickly. Add container, it's gonna be display flex. And of course, let's enter them. And again it's gonna be 50% and it's gonna be like our filters. Like that, but I forgot writing just file content. It's gonna be space between. It's exactly the same thing as we did here. Okay, so what about this container? Amount container again. Again, I will center them. I can give font weight here or under this. Or for this amount, doesn't matter. Okay, let's come here and give some border and size. So I will say with 30, high 30. I will give border radius. It's not gonna be circle, it's gonna be something like 10 pixels. And after that, I can give border. I will say one pixel solid and let's say teal like that i can center this item align item center just for content and i will give some margin between our add and remove buttons icons so i will say five pixels Okay, nice. So what about this cart? Let's come here for button. I will give padding and I will say border one pixel solid and teal again. And background color will be white. And finally, cursor pointer. Okay, as maybe two pixels. Okay, it's better, I think. I will give font weight five hundred. Okay, it looks nice. So when I hover, I can change this color maybe. I will say hover and background color. It's gonna be this color. Like that. So we finished our product page also. What about our shopping cart? But before Let's create our register and login page and after we are gonna handle our cart. Okay, I will create register and login pages. Register.jsx There is a typo here, x and login.
Okay, let's create our function. Let's create our container quickly. I will say styled from styled components and div. I will change here and I will do the same thing for register. I will change here, register. Okay, let's close here. So, first, thing, we are going to have background image. And after that, we are going to create here small card and it's going to include our form. I will open up my application and here I will say register. Okay, let's create our card here. It's going to be wrapper. And inside this wrapper, I will say title and let's say create an account. And I'm going to create my form and it's going to include some inputs. I will give placeholder here and it's going to be name first. After that, last name, username, email and passwords. Last name, email, username, it can be here, okay, and password, and finally, confirm password. Okay, after that, I'm gonna create here agreement, and I will paste here my text. Okay, and finally, it's gonna be my button create. Okay, let's create them. Wrapper form title input agreement. And but let's change them quickly form h1 input let's say span and finally button okay firstly it's gonna be full screen component so i will say width 100 vw and height 100 vh and I'm gonna give background color, sorry, background picture. So I will say background and URL. I'm gonna paste my URL here. Let's see. Okay, I can center this image. So here I will say center. Okay, but it looks really sharp. I'm gonna add here linear gradient. So I will say linear gradient and my first color will be gray color but I'm gonna reduce opacity so I'm gonna use RGBA. It's gonna be this white color but opacity will be 0.5. I should indicate second color here because we are using linear gradient. I will say comma and second color. And don't forget putting here comma also. Let's see. Okay, as, as you can see, it's much better. So we can focus on our form. So what about this wrapper? It's gonna be our cart. But before, let's write here display flex and center just file content center so they are going to be centered okay so what about this wrapper right now i will give some padding inside 20 pixels but width is 100% here 
so I should give some width manually, so I will say 40%. Like that. So I will give background color. It's gonna be white. Okay, awesome. So what about this title? It should be here because it's before our form. Let's check. Yeah, it's above. So I'm gonna change it. It's gonna be font size 24 pixels. And font width will be 300. Okay, awesome. So our form, I will write display flex. And flex wrap is gonna be wrap. As you can see, nothing has changed that because we didn't give any size for these inputs. So let's do that. I will say flex one, and I'm gonna give mean width. And it's gonna be 40%. So I can give space for top and right side. So I will say margin 20 pixels, 10 pixels, and zero and zero. Okay, nice. I can increase this height or I can just give padding. Okay, I just want to decrease this agreement font size. So here, let's say 12 pixels. And I'm going to give margin again. From top and bottom and left and right. Okay. And finally, we can change our button. I will say width 40%. And I will delete this border. It's going to be none. I will give some padding. 50 pixels, 20 pixels. Let's see. Let's change this background color. And font color, I will say background color till and font color will be white. Cursor pointer and it's ready. Perfect. So I can do the same thing for login page. I will just copy here. And for login page, I can paste and I can delete some elements here. And change. Firstly, I will say sign in. And we don't need inputs, it's gonna be just username and password. And we don't need that. And I'm gonna say login. And we can create, I will say link. And first one will be forgot password. So I can just copy and paste here. And second one will be create a new account. Okay, that's all I think. So we can create our components. Maybe I can copy and paste and delete again. We don't need that. And others can stay. And I'm gonna change this background image. Let's copy and paste here. And let's create our links and add this login page into our application and we can see better after that. I will say const link is gonna be styled and a tag. Okay, let's go to the app.js and this time it's gonna be login. Okay, as you can see it's horizontal, we can change it. Let's go to login.js. By the way, I can change this background size. I will say background size. It's gonna be cover. Okay, it's better I think. So I can do the same thing for register page. I forgot, I will just write here. Okay. 
After that, I will go to the form. We don't need wrap anymore because we have only two inputs. So I will say flex direction is going to be column. And I can decrease this wrapper. It was 40 pixels. Sorry, percent. It's going to be 25. It's enough, I think, because it's just small component. Okay. So for this input, I'm going to change here. It's going to be 10 pixels and 0. From top and bottom, it's going to be 10. Left and right, I just deleted this additional space. So what about these links? I will come here and I will say margin again from top and bottom. It's going to be 5 pixels like that. I will decrease this font size, let's say 12, and I'm going to add underline. So I will say text decoration, it's going to be underline. And finally, it's going to be cursor pointer. Okay, like that, maybe 10, let's see. Why I can see this here? Maybe it can be 5 and I will give here margin bottom 10 okay nice so we finished our login and register page we can take care of our cart right now i will close everything here and i'm gonna create new page and it's gonna be cart let's go to app.js but before i will just create my function i forgot because we should import this first okay we can go to the app.js and we can call our cart. Okay. Again, I will create my container. And after that, I will call my navbar. And my announcement. And finally, we will write here our cart and after that I will call my footer. Okay, let's create this container. I will say const container. And it's going to be styled. I should import this. Not material UI, it's going to be styled components and it's going to be div. Okay, it's here. So let's create our wrapper here. I will say wrapper and inside, firstly, we are going to have our title and I'm going to say your back. Let's delete this. Okay, so we are going to have text here our title and after that I'm gonna split my wrapper into two pieces one of them will be our top container and second one will be our bottom container in the top I'm gonna create two buttons continue shopping and second one will be here our checkout button and between them we are gonna write some text so let's do that after title I will say top why it's writing second one okay and here it's going to be bottom. Okay, let's create them. It's going to be wrapper, top, sorry, title, top and bottom. And this one will be h1 tag. Let's close here, by the way. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to give some padding here. I will say padding 20. And our H1, it's going to be font weight 300. It's going to be thinner a little bit. And after that, I will say text align center. Okay, like that. Let's create our buttons. But before, of course, I should create here flexbox. Align item center and justify content space between. Let's create our buttons. Const button. Let's say top button actually. 
that because we are going to create another button later and it's going to be just button styled and button and I will say padding 10 pixels font weight 600 and cursor pointer let's create them inside our top div I will say top button and inside let's say continue shopping and check out now let's see okay they are here and between them I'm gonna write some text let's say top texts and inside it's gonna be two text top text and second one and it's gonna be our shopping bag let's say two and our wish list okay let's create them also after button style to and one more it's gonna be spam and I'm gonna give some underline for this text text decoration it's gonna be underline and cursor pointer let's see okay I will give some margin 0 and 10 pixels okay let's take care of these buttons but one of them will be with border and without any background color and this will be without border and background color will be black let's do that we can use our props for second one I will say not here our button I will say type it's gonna be field let's take this prop here and arrange our border I will say props if props dot type equals field it's gonna be none and for background color and text color let's write them also and color and for background color I will say if type is field it's gonna be black if it's not it's gonna be transparent let's add here our semicolon okay so what about color if it's filled background color will be black so in this case our font color will be just white let's see okay it looks really nice let's take care of our button by the way I can give some margin here maybe or padding for the top I will say padding 20 okay it's better I think so what about our bottom again I'm gonna split this bottom first side will be product and some information and second one will be summary let's do that inside our bottom I will say info it's gonna be our product info and summary I will say info and summary let's create them info summary and they are gonna be two and after that I will say display flex because they are gonna be horizontal again and I will split them okay like that so I'm gonna give some size info is gonna be three units and this one will be just one unit so I can use flex flex just three and it's gonna be one if I give background color 
you are going to see better as you can see it's just one unit and other will be our information okay let's slate this right now i'm going to create my product inside this information let's create our first product and inside again i'm going to split this container first one will be our product information like image title id maybe color size and second one will be our price and also we can increase and decrease the amount let's say first one product details or just detail and second one will be price detail and inside my product detail i'm gonna add my image product image i just found something from google i will just paste here my source and after that product name id color and other stuff here after image so i'm gonna say details and inside let's say product name let's write here something and i can write here product with bold tag okay and second one will be our product id let's write here some random number and i'm gonna say id and i'm gonna change here product id and two more it's gonna be product color but it's not gonna include any text here we are gonna display only our color so i can close here and finally product size size and it's gonna be let's say 37 and half okay after that i'm gonna create my price details i'm just gonna write here price and we are gonna take care of later because it's gonna be confusing if i write everything at the same time i think so let's create them product details image details everything here first one will be product product detail it's gonna be image details product name product id product color and product size so let's change them it's gonna be image detail okay others will be span So this color can be div because it's gonna be just color circle okay okay i didn't create price details let's create that also okay it's information and it's gonna be our price details so firstly i'm gonna make them flex box let's come here and i will say display flex okay right now price is here and i'm gonna separate them just by content space between okay it's here right now i will come inside my product details and it's gonna be flex 2 and my price detail will be flex 1 let's come back here and i'm gonna say display flex again and our all information will be here okay perfect so let's decrease this number image size so i will say bit 200 okay perfect so let's take care of our details i will give first the padding and again display flex but this time flex direction will be column and i can separate these elements i will say just write content space between or around let's check 
hurts a bit mean. Okay, it's too much, I think. I will say around. Okay, it's better. Let's take care of this color. I'm gonna give some width and height and I'm gonna make it circle. So 20. Height will be the same. Let's give border radius. 50% and I'm gonna take my color as props. Let's come here. Inside color, I will say color black. Let's use it. I will say background color. And I will take my props and I'm gonna use props dot color. Okay, perfect. We don't need any additional thing here. It looks really nice. So you can change these font sizes, colors or something. But for me, there is nothing to change. It looks really nice. I don't have a better idea. It looks okay. So what about this price? Let's come here. Price details. And firstly, I'm gonna center everything inside this container. So display flags, align item center, just high content center. Okay, but all elements will be vertical. So I should write here also flex direction column. Okay, after that, let's fill inside our container. I will delete this. Firstly, I'm gonna create my amount container. Let's say product amount container. I'm gonna create some icons from material UI. First one will be add, as you can see, material UI icons. And second one will be remove. I will import this also. And between them, let's write our amount. So I will say product amount. It's gonna be two. Okay. After this container, finally, I can write my actual price product price okay let's create them after price details const product amount container styled and div amount and product price and that's all I think. We don't need them. Let's check. Okay, that's all. Okay, this is our amount container. So I will make this display flex. And I will say align item center. Okay, I can change this font. Font size 24. And I will give some margin. It's going to be just five. Okay, nice. So what about this price? Font size will be a little bit bigger and font weight, let's say 200. Okay, maybe margin here for my container. I can say margin bottom 20. Okay, perfect. So what if I create another product? It's really easy. I will just come here. Just duplicate this product. And between them, I'm gonna create an HR. But let's see before. Okay, I'm just gonna create line here. So I will say HR. You can use directly, but I'm gonna change a little bit. So I will come here. Before this summary, I will say const hr. It's gonna be styled and hr. Firstly, let's change background color. It's gonna be ee. -E -E. <laughs> and I will delete border. And it's gonna be non. But before, let's see. I forgot showing you without any style. 
as you can see it's really dark and it doesn't look good so i'm gonna change it open this again and after that i will say height one as you can see it's much better right now maybe i can change this image you don't have to but it's gonna look better i think and i'm gonna change here Akura t-shirt and it's gonna be gray and size will be medium okay perfect maybe price also of course after our full application we are gonna fetch this data from our database but for now it's totally okay it looks nice so let's take care of our summary firstly i'm gonna create title let's say summary title and it's gonna be order summary and after that i'm gonna create my items my text and price and i will say summary item it's gonna include our text and price i will say summary item text let's say subtotal and it's gonna be our price so i will duplicate this item and second one will be estimated shipping let's say 590 and we can write here our discount let's say shipping discount and again but this time it's going to be minus 590 and finally total is going to be 80 again but all these items will be same same size and color but this total will be a little bit bigger and darker so i will say type and it's going to be total and we are going to take this prop and arrange our style and after this summary these items i'm going to create button it's going to be our main button oops and let's say check out now okay let's create them summary title item item tags price and button item price and button let's change them also it's gonna be div they are gonna be span span and button okay so I'm gonna give some border here border 0.5 pixels solid and light gray and I can give some border radius 10 pixels and some padding maybe 20 pixels let's see okay but I can see my border oh okay but i can change this size because whenever we add new products it's gonna be bigger and bigger so i can just limit this i'm gonna say height 50 vh okay it's enough i think so let's take care of our title i will just decrease font rate it's gonna be 200 okay nice so these items let's say margin from top and bottom from left and right like that i can separate this text and this price to do that i will make this display flags 
and justify content space between like that so what about this total they look really nice but i can just increase font size of this total and font weight to do that i'm going to use my props i will say font weight let's take our props props dot type if it's total it's gonna be darker which is 500 i will do the same thing for font size font size if it's total it's gonna be 24 pixels nothing has changed let's check here Oh, wrong component, so it should be inside our item. Okay, have some. So what about this button? I will say first with 100%. I will give some padding, let's say 10. And background color will be black. Let's change font color, it's gonna be white and uh, font weight will be 600. Okay, awesome. So we finished our card also. Maybe I can change this now bar a little bit, it looks meh. <laughs> it's okay, but it can be better. Anyway, let's take care of our responsive design. I will open up my console. We are using font right now and it's not responsive at all. It looks really weird. If we go to the home page, as you can see, our categories. Only thing normal here is these products. And we are gonna take care of this responsive design right now. So let's start with our navbar. I'm gonna open up our navbar here. Okay, firstly I'm gonna show you how you can use media query inside your styled components. For example, if you come here and say media, and it's gonna be on the screen. And I'm gonna write here my breakpoint. It's gonna be max width, and it will be 380 pixels, which is the breakpoint for mobile devices. So inside I can write here my style properties. If I say display none for example, it's just an example, don't worry about that. So let's check. As you can see it's disappeared. Let's make this bigger. Okay, it works like that. But we have a lot of components and pages and writing this each time can be a little bit tough and it can be a waste of time. So what I'm gonna do is creating here new JavaScript file. Inside my source, I will say responsive.js. So inside, I'm gonna create my shortcut function. I will say export const and for mobile device, I'm gonna write here my parameter. It's gonna be, let's say props, or whatever you say and it's gonna return us this media query so how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use style component CSS so let's come here and import I will say import and it's gonna be CSS from style components okay so here I'm gonna return this CSS I will say CSS and backticks again and here, let's write our media query. Okay, of course it's not gonna be display none. Instead, we are gonna use our props here. I will say props, and that's all. Of course, you can write here other devices, for example, tablet, and you can increase this number and for other sizes, but I'm just gonna show you the first one. You can create others for yourself. 
or you can just leave it. So let's import this mobile. There is a typo here. So I will copy this and I will close and I'm gonna import. From I will go to the source and here responsive. Okay, so instead of writing media query each time, I can use this function. I will write mobile and inside I'm gonna write my properties. And if I write, for example, background color and red, of course, inside code. And let's see. As you can see, it's red right now. It works. I will close here. So only thing we should do is writing here our function and inside our style. It's really easy. So what I'm gonna do, let's decrease this height, for example. Height and it's gonna be 50 pixels. So I can copy this function. And for wrapper, for example, I can decrease these paddings. I will say padding. It's gonna be 10 pixels again from top and bottom but it's going to be zero from left and right. Let's see. Okay, nice. But right side, as you can see, overflowing. So what can I do? Firstly, I just want to delete this language option. We don't need that here. I will come here and say display none. Okay, so I can decrease this input size. Let's come here, our input. I'm gonna say with 50 pixels like that. So where's our placeholder by the way? Input, oh we didn't write, okay. Placeholder, it's gonna be search. Okay, it fits inside, perfect. So what about our logo? I'm gonna decrease font size. So I will say font size 24 pixels. Okay, nice. As you remember, for the right side, our position was flex and we can just center them. It's here. So I will say just five content. And it's gonna be center. So let's decrease this font size for each item. Font size, it's gonna be just 12 pixels. And our margin left here, 25 pixels. It's really large, we can just decrease this also. Margin left, I'm gonna say 10 pixels. Okay, it's still overflowing, that because our each container here, our left, center and right side, has flex 1, remember, they are even. What I'm gonna do is increasing right side flex. So for the right side, I'm gonna write here flex 2. So it's gonna be 2 units. As you can see, and others will be just 1. Perfect. So what about this slider? I don't wanna see this. So I'm gonna go to the slider and let's paste it here and it's gonna be display none. Of course I should import my function. Okay, it's here. I will save. Okay, perfect. So what about these categories? As you can see, it's horizontal, but we are lucky that we are using Flexbox. Only thing we should do is changing Flex direction. Let's do that. I'm gonna open up my categories here. I can delete this padding. It's gonna be zero. And additionally, I'm gonna write Flex direction. 
And it's going to be column. Let's import our function. And let's see. OK. Of course, I can decrease this image size. Let's go to the category items. And here, I will say height it's going to be 30 vh. I will import. And it's much better, I think. Maybe 20. Like that. Whatever you want. As you can see, our products look really nice. We don't have to change it. It's already Flexbox and Flex Wrap. So, what about this newsletter? Let's open up. Let's check what can we change. As you can see, it's not centered. Let's change this description. Where is our description here? I will import my function first. And after, I will say text align. It's going to be center. Nice. So I can increase this input size also. My container, as you can see, it's 50%. I will say it's going to be maybe 80%. Okay, it's better. So for our footer, that's right here, 75. I will say fit to window. Okay, we can see better right now. Firstly, I'm going to delete this center container. It just includes our links. We don't need that, I think. I will say footer. And uh, for the center, here, I will say display none. Okay, we have only left and right side. I can use again flex direction. Let's go to the container and I'm gonna say flex direction column. Okay, nice. Maybe let's change this background color for the right side. You don't have to do that, but it's gonna look better, I think. Background color. It's going to be light gray. Okay, it's not light enough. Let's change it. Maybe more. Okay, perfect. As you can see, it's really easy. I'm not gonna deep dive into every detail, every small detail. I'm just showing you how to create responsive designs. Awesome. So what about our login and register pages? Let's go to the login. And I'm gonna open up my app.js by the way. And I'm gonna write here login instead of home page. I will save and let's close everything here. And I'm gonna open up login page. Let's see first. As you can see, our width is really small. So I'm going to wrapper here. As you can see, it's 25%. I'm going to paste my function and I'm going to import. Okay, it's not here. I'm going to import manually here. I will say mobile and my responsive JS. Okay, so where is our wrapper here? It's going to be with 75%. Okay, awesome. I will zoom in. Okay, it looks nice. I will do the same thing for register page. I will copy this. And wrapper will be 75. 
okay you don't have to show this it's almost same with login so what else we have we have product list let's open up of course first app.js and i'm gonna change this product list okay let's see what we have here okay our products look okay and other things only thing we should do is changing these filters i will go to the filter let's close here i'm gonna import my function and after that margin was 20 but as you can see too much space here maybe i can decrease it it's gonna be zero from top and bottom and 20 from left and right and also i can say display flex and flex direction column they are already vertical but they are not in same size so i will say display flex and flex direction it's gonna be call okay perfect i will zoom again so i can give some margins and we are gonna end this page also for the text as you can see there is margin right here it's gonna be zero okay they are in the same line right now and uh, what about this select i'm gonna say margin we don't need right anymore but instead we are gonna give top and bottom margin so i will say 10 pixels and zero pixel okay nice perfect so let's go to the product page i will open up my app.js and i'm gonna write here product and i'm gonna open product page okay as you can see our image is beyond this right side we can use again for extraction and after that we are gonna take care of this information so let's come here inside wrapper i'm gonna say flex direction call and maybe i can decrease this padding also i will say 10 pixels and flex direction call i will import okay it's here but it's very long let's take care of this image our image is a hundred percent and height is 90 vh we can decrease that i will say height it can be maybe 40. okay it's nice so for this container i can decrease this padding also and after that i'm gonna change these filters and these buttons our info container as you can see is 50 percent sorry pixels so it's gonna be 10 pixels and i will write here padding okay so let's change these filters filter container its width is 50 percent this time it's gonna be a hundred percent like that i will do the same thing for this container remember it was our add container i think here it's gonna be again a hundred percent perfect let's check again everything looks nice okay that's all i think so what about our cart so let's open up our app it's gonna be cart and i'm gonna open my cart here okay we can delete these links and we can make them 
flex traction column again and it will be okay i hope let's try firstly i will say padding 10 pixels like that okay and i'm gonna import my function okay let's delete these links top button and texts here i will say display not So for these containers, let's give flex direction for them. Our bottom here, I will say flex direction column. Let's see. Okay, our checkout is here right now. So I will do the same thing for our information. So I can copy this. And inside product, I will say flex direction column again. Okay, perfect. It looks really nice. Maybe margin here. And I can increase this margin also for this number. So where was it? Amount of container. And here it was 5 pixels. I'm going to increase from left and right margin. 5 pixels and let's say 15 pixels because we are going to be using our fingers so that space is better I think so what about this price I will give margin product price let's say margin bottom and 20 pixels okay and as you can see it's really easy when you use flexbox only thing you should do is changing your directions okay let's look at last time our cart our product product list login and register and finally our home page okay awesome so we finished our first part in the next video we are gonna build our rest api using node.js and mongodb i hope you liked it if you learned something new today please like the video and leave a comment it really motivates me and you can support the channel by using join button or the link in the description below i really work hard creating project recording editing and just one video takes days to release. I just want to help you and I don't want you to waste your money for nonsense basic courses. So I would be appreciated if you could help me too. <laughs> okay, don't forget to follow Lamadev social media accounts. You can ask your questions there and interact with other users. So that's all. I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.